Peter. What is it? Come on. You can tell me. These past few years, you helping me through college and working here, sacrificing so much and asking for nothing. I just wish there were more people like you in the world. He's right. Five years ago, you walked in here and told me you were inspired by my mission to help others. Now it's you who inspires me. Thank you, May, for everything. Here's to many more years of service. Thanks again for setting all this up. Oh, I just wish I could do more. Well, May's always told me if you help someone... You help everyone. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should send May to City Hall to have a word with the mayor. Oh, I gotta run. Um, thanks again for the party and everything. It, it, it really means a lot. You know we can't have vigilantes trespassing or doing illegal searches. Yeah, I know. Which is why I brought a warrant. So what do you say we do some perfectly legal searching? I like the sound of that. What's your name? Officer Davis. Call me Jeff. And you are? Uh... <laughs> Just messing with you. My son's a big fan. Stay here. Hell no. It'll take both of us to stop them. And some of these. They're moving. Let's go. Get him! Samba! One! Stop! You okay? Go! I'll get you! Decides to run on time. I can't take this. You can, and you will. I'll pay you back. Soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, you are so much like Ben. You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. Martin. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? Uh, 
really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. For acts of extraordinary brave, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes? I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer. to leave now. To be honest, I was hoping to bring you here. My abilities lend me a certain persuasiveness. I've been watching you. I was waiting for you at City Hall. You never came. Where were you? Is this real or in my mind? It was a shame so many had to die with no heroes to save them. That officer saved your life, didn't he? He was here because of you. And 
Norman wanted to use him. A futile gesture, in the end. And where was Norman during all this? Slinking away like a rat. He knew what was going to happen, and he fled. Norman is a hidden cancer on this city. He must be excised with no trace of his corruption to return. Norman hides behind his mask of lies. I will break it apart and drag him into the light. Ready for the next one. Next one? Thought we were just babysitting Scorpion today. from bad to each river on fire bad. That's... Well, okay. I'm on my way. We'll deal with Scorpion later. Run! I'm stopping! I'm here, guys! I got you! 
I expected you sooner. Where is the energy of youth, huh? Fight to the death. Or die here together. So how many people did you kill before I got here? I didn't have a choice. You always have a choice. Pete? 
You don't get it. I mean, I tried. I tried to teach you, to make you into a hero. And I knew you'd always be second best, but... All you've ever done is let people down. Put people in danger. It's not Spider-Man. Spider-Man helps people. You just hurt them. It's not true. Hey, whoa, don't shoot the messenger. It's not even me you're letting down. It's your dad. Oh! So, your name is Miles. Who are you really? Miles. Get down here, Lee! Let's dig deeper. Just fight me, man! You wanna end this? Let's fight! What the hell, Miles? I know this is you, Lee! Yeah, of course it is. Oh, I'm always here for you. I do everything for you. I'm not listening. Yeah, I'm not surprised you'd say that. Because all that matters is you, right? All you do is take. You put me in danger. You put Haley in danger. But for what? What do we get? I... I know I'm... Left behind. That's all we get. And then we end up like Finn. Kanky. Kanky! I know I said it wasn't your fault, but... I guess I just mostly felt bad for you. I didn't want you to feel responsible. Especially after... No! Especially after your... Shut up! This ends when you want it to, Miles. You're going to let me in eventually. And until then, struggle. <laughs> Where are you? No! I'm here, Mom. I can't do this anymore, Miles. You're always gone. Always in danger. No! You're going to get yourself killed. I won't! And then what? You can't win, Miles. I should never have let you try. All it's ever done is make me more alone. Put me in more danger. No! I want to protect you. I will. I heard that before. I mean it. Not from you. On the day he died, Mom. your father told me just that morning that everything he does. No. No, no, no. Miles, please. I love you. That's enough, Lee. Oh, Miles. I said that's enough. You're right. I have everything I need. save you. Or Finn. If Spider-Man can't protect everyone, who will? Come on now. You're more than just Spider-Man. You can try and hide behind that mask, but I know who you are. And what you stand for. I've been watching you. You have? And it hurts. What happened to the boy that I raised? You're a coward. Stain on my family. You don't mean that. Yeah, I do. We all do. You're a failure, Miles. Always will be. No! You never say that! None of you would! I'm not- It's time to give up. Give up, Miles. No. Give up! I won't. Give up. Give up. Give up. I'm not doing this anymore. You want to know who I am? 
I'm the kid whose dad you killed at City Hall. What? He died because you decided your problems were more important than all of those people's lives. Jefferson Davis was a hero who saved people from you. Miles. No. I'm done listening to you. Losing my dad? It's not what's holding me back. I was the one doing that. But not anymore. Let them escape! Still some of this thing inside him. I see. I think I can clear it out of him. But only if I go to the source. I'm going in with you. What's the plan here, Lee? Find Spider-Man. All of this dark matter should lead us toward him. He has a stronger hold on him than I thought. All right. Weaken the symbiote, take back control, Use our powers to save Spider-Man. Where do we start? We have to find the source of his pain. Follow me. I'll try and lead you to where it's darkest. But I can't promise what we'll find. Spider-Man would think about this place. Most of us are here because of him. Down here, I think I found something. I think... Miles! Them all. The problem solved. That's not what Pete thinks. 
No. But it might be how he feels. All these villains. He really thought the suit could solve it all. Is that... me? You caused a lot of pain, man. The debt I will spend the rest of my life repaying. There's something up ahead. You're close. May's house. I haven't asked Pete about her in a long time. What's wrong with me? When you get caught up in one part of your life, it's easy for the rest to fall away. Look who's home. Come here. Oh, man. Balancing is a process, not a destination. It is her. She's dead because of you. I never meant for her to get hurt. This is your chance to make it up to her, then. I feel something upstairs. Your power does have the same effect in here. Yeah. I guess it does. Beast. I built my life around this place. This will probably be the closest I'll ever get to seeing the inside of it again. Not that I deserve to. Lee, why did you do it? What did you want? Revenge. Norman Osborne's the reason my parents are dead. So I dedicated my life to making his hell. Instead, you lost your father. Peter lost me, and I was too stubborn to see I had become what I despised most. I'm sorry, Miles. Up there, that's the source. If we clear this out, we just might be able to save him. I can transfer all of my power into the symbiote. I think that could neutralize it. And free Peter. What'll happen to you? I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> well, if this is my last chance to say anything to you, forgive you. It's just not in me. But I can't carry this hate for you anymore, man. So let's set things right. You and me. Ready? Ah! 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 Ah!
This is all my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He had to drain his power into it to save you. It looks like it had an effect. Wait, you two work together? I wasn't about to let you die. Miles, that's... After so many times saying it, thank you seems soft. It's okay. I know. I don't deserve that kid. We lost you. Guess I should thank you. I spent years of my life consumed with vengeance and lost everything for it. You two reminded me that that's not who I am. When you help someone, you help everyone. Where are you going to go? To set things right. Your way. Wow. Reforming your greatest enemy. Can't say I've ever done that. Maybe MJ was right. Why would the city need me when it has you? I don't know. This city still looks like a two-Spider-Man job to me. <laughs> <laughs> 